Welcome back. It's full disclosure. We're talking Better Call Saul. Dex and Shannon and Patrick Jones is back. Hey. Our blogger, our That's best right. blogger friend ever. <laughs> the thank greatest you, blog you. in all the land. It's, yes. uh, tell everybody what it is. Uh, better blog Saul. I uh, have a Google map and database of all of the filming locations that um, are used. And so if you want to make your own tour, go find out where you can grab a German beer in a bar that is supposedly in Chicago. Yeah. You want to go there? You go to Better Blog Which was Saul. the bar last night. Yeah. Which literally I was wondering, I was questioning, I could not wait to talk to you about it today. Yeah, yeah, that was the first thing you said to me was, where's that bar? Yep. Yeah. And I told you, it's, that's the, um, it has a couple names, but the German American Club on Manal. Okay. That's where it's Can at. anybody go in there? Well, we'll do that off camera. Well, I'm, I'm sure after. Are you, are you going to go there now? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we got a show. This is a fun show, everybody. <laughs> See you next time. I'm sure after last night's episode, it's probably going to be packed. Oh, it is. Well, I think that there's some sort of membership or something. I was looking at their website. But um, on the show, they had a sign. I think it said Arno's or something to make it look like it was a different bar in oh, Chicago, wow. okay. which the set team is amazing. Yeah. They do lots of great stuff to make it look like it's not in Albuquerque. Yeah, yeah. success. So let's talk about the season as a whole. Absolutely. What, 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 what's your favorite moment throughout the whole season that you can think of? Oh, that's a hard question. You know, you're start, starting off with the... I'll yeah. tell you question. mine while yeah. you're thinking. The right, Kettleman's. Get the Kettleman's. That yeah. was one of my favorite. I thought it was so well written. Uh, I which really part enjoyed with the it. Kettleman's? Any part that the actress was in, because yeah. she was Betsy so loony. Kettleman. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She did good. That yeah. was really great. I, I, now I'm jumping ahead. She was my favorite new character. She just, she, she kills me with, with, with how, from the beginning, from the first episode, we know she's guilty. Yeah. Th th there's yeah. no chance. And we know where the show's going as far as these guys are criminals, but she never admits it, even when he says... I had your money. I held your money. I broke into your house. No, no. I have proof that you're guilty. We're innocent. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. That it's, was one of my favorite scenes. You gotta lie to believe things yourself. Do you yeah. lie to yourself ever? Who doesn't do that? Yeah. Well, and maybe that's what she had been preparing for for so long is to go to trial when she knew yes. she was guilty. Yeah. But she had to prepare this life, prepare this face. How about the skateboarders? I love that too. See, it was okay. I yeah. thought now, you know, seeing the whole season, I look back and think, a little cheesy. I don't know. It was okay. It's so funny. Uh, and it was him funny. out in the desert being like a lawyer. That or, was a cool like, scene. Like that was really yeah. cool. That might have been my second favorite scene. What's during your first? The my first happens to be Mike when he was in the course, uh, um, the parking lot mm -hmm. and the garage and the parking garage and the whole, he doesn't have a gun on him and he yeah, beats oh. the crap out of that guy. That, <laughs> that was amazing. Gramps. Yes. Yeah. Loved it. I think my favorite part of the season, thinking about it now, was the uh, desert scene in the second episode when we've got all the guys. We got the guys from Breaking Bad. Yeah. And, and I love it. I think I've probably said this before, but it basically had everything you would want from any sort of um, literature. It was funny, it was beautiful, mm -hmm. and it was dramatic all at the same time. You're, you're cringing because these guys are getting their bones broken. Yeah. But you're laughing because Jimmy's so funny. Yeah. I was thinking the How whole time, do do are they going to go real dark with this yeah because with, that was dark they yeah. can't though this is its own show we have to remember that everyone yeah. wants well, it we to be really, breaking we, bad we, and it's not it's mm -hmm. well you not being a breaking bad fan you don't get it Shannon. here we go you don't it's understand it's better call Saul. it's its own entity and i really do like uh how it is sort of family oriented you know yeah it isn't it isn't as dark as you know, the Breaking Bad is, which yeah. Yeah, I let my kids watch some of the episodes. And you I, I did? Started, yeah. oh, no yes. way. Yes, we have good conversations. Okay, we what do, not to do. Life. You cannot be a Slipping Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> but that, so bringing up Slipping Jimmy, which I think it really tied full circle. I think that though we might say that, that Lars and Cal, the skateboarders, that that was kind of cheesy. That brought up Slipping Jimmy. That showed how good he is mm -hmm. at that, yeah. which was kind of thinking about why he makes that decision to break bad in the end, why he's going to walk away from a pretty solid career. It's, it's, it's what he's doing. Do you doing think at. he's going to walk away or do you think he's going to take that job in Santa Fe? We oh, were done. talking about that. I he, think so too. He's done. Because even though, well, 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 look at it this way. Like he was offered $20,000 from Hamlin instantly, but then he's going to have to wait for the huge settlement. Which could be years. Yeah. And so if you're a full-time lawyer, that $20,000, I mean, that's a lot for me, but that's not going to be a lot right. for a lawyer. He's wanting a job. And that's not enough to pay his salary. So he's thinking, how can I make money now? What am I good at? Well, we saw what he's good at last yeah. night. Which well, is what, where do you dream. think he's going to go then? Because uh, if he's not going to take that job in Santa Fe, it didn't really tell us that's, yeah. if he's going to take a certain job. There's nothing really... You know what we do know? He's not going to die. 
<laughs> Isn't that such a good feeling? He's Spoiler not going to die. Alert. Yeah, <laughs> he's not going to die. Um, do you think Tuco's going to come back though in the second season, or do you think he's done and Nacho took over? Mm-hmm. Nacho's the new. Tuco? Well, I, I had a chance to talk to the uh, actor Tuco, okay. and uh, he was he did mention to me and kind of, without saying it, he'll be back. Good. Yeah. I really hope so. I heard that I read some rumor that um, Giancarlo Esposito, call, who played Gus Fring. Called Vince Gilligan and said, "I will kill you if you don't put me in the new show." See, <laughs> which I'm no, all. No, he about. just needs a paycheck though, because he's still an actor in real life. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. See, and that's what's cool throughout these seasons coming up. You know, all these Breaking Bad characters that can, you know, make. You I know, would love to see Walt come back, even though I'm not a huge fan. Like they, you guys say, I would about, still love to see. They talked him come back. about uh, Walter White and Jesse making appearances. Yeah, they should. I don't should. know if it's gonna happen, but I think it will. Number so, one that I want to see is Huel. That's who I want to see. Just real quick for the people yeah. that haven't seen Breaking Bad. <laughs> all, all three of you. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you think, okay, was Saul married in Breaking Bad? No. He yeah, was single, I so we know so. Kim, you know he's going to demise that relationship. Okay, Did Kim, have, Kim is not in Breaking Bad. See? Yeah. So you know he's going to like ruin every bridge Kim is that gonna he has. going to die sooner or later. She's going to die? Ooh, yes. That's a you bold think it's prediction. going to be that dark? Yeah, she'll die. Dang it. He'll get so, he, something will happen because he's going to. You just to, don't like him. You he's want He's going to, to die. break bad and. They're gonna be. You're they're gonna so be in a relationship. Yes. And something's gonna happen. So you oh think my gosh, you're smart. They're gonna decks. get kind of back together again. They're yes. gonna have a full-on relationship. And then someone's gonna hold her hostage like Nacho, and then, bam, yeah, there that, you go. That, that would not be very smart if he did that. No. See, no, smart. No, See, no. smart and sneaky. Yeah. 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 Another word. We need. Check. A, we need an hour show because <laughs> seriously, uh, we'll wrap things up with you at the end. Yeah. We'll talk more about uh, the season and last night's episode. But uh, coming up next, we are going to lawyer up, and we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to talk to a real lawyer who knows about things that we don't know about. So we'll break <laughs> down the episode with Whitener Law when we come back.